to reduce carbon emissions overall, Mazda develops and enhances its products and powertrains for all three engine types. Electric vehicles were supposed to be the future, until Mazda quietly suggested otherwise. While the auto world races toward battery dependence, Mazda's understated M-Hybrid system offers a radically different vision. No plugs, no range anxiety, no billion-dollar charging networks. It's not flashy, but it might be brilliant. Could this low-voltage, battery-free, mild hybrid tech undercut the EV revolution before it even peaks? The answer may surprise you and shake the industry. Mazda's M-Hybrid Mazda's M-Hybrid isn't your typical flashy hybrid tech. It's low-key, but smart, and honestly, it might just be what a lot of people have been waiting for. Instead of massive batteries or plugging in your car every night, Mazda uses a small 24-volt lithium-ion battery paired with something called an Integrated Starter Generator, or ISG for short. Think of it like a sidekick helping the gas engine, not a full-on replacement. Here's how it works. When you slow down or hit the brakes, the system grabs some of that wasted energy and stores it in the battery. Then, when you step on the gas again, it uses that stored energy to give the engine a little boost. Plus, it smooths out the start-stop moments, so the engine shuts off and restarts without you even noticing. No plugs, no fuss, just better mileage and fewer emissions. What's really cool is that you don't have to change a thing about how you drive. There's no range anxiety, no waiting to charge, and no hunting for charging stations. It just quietly makes your ride more efficient. Drivers have seen about a 5-10% to improvement in fuel economy compared to the regular gas-only versions. Not bad for something so simple. You'll find this tech tucked inside popular Mazda rides like the Mazda 3, CX-30 and CX-5. Mazda's even rolling it out to smaller models like the Mazda 2 around the world. And because the battery and system are small and light, the cars stay fun to drive. No heavy batteries, weighing things down or killing the handling. Another cool thing, Mazda looks at the whole picture, not just tailpipe emissions. While EV fans focus on zero exhaust, Mazda points out that the electricity powering EVs often comes from not-so-clean sources like coal or gas, so their mild hybrid cuts emissions in a way that really counts, without just pushing the problem somewhere else. Bottom line, Mazda's M-Hybrid is like a quiet hero for people who want better mileage and lower emissions without the drive armor of full EVs. It's smart, simple, and ready right now. But here's the big question. If this system can make driving greener and easier without all the headaches of full electric cars, why are EVs still getting all the hype? The case against electric vehicles. Electric vehicles have been stealing the spotlight for years now, hailed as the future of clean driving and the ultimate solution to cutting emissions. And sure, EVs have a lot going for them, zero tailpipe emissions, instant torque that makes them fun to drive, and high-tech appeal that fits today's push for innovation. But when you really dig into the details, EVs aren't the flawless game-changer everyone thinks they are. Let's start with the cost. Even as prices come down, EVs are still generally more expensive up front than traditional gasoline cars or mild hybrids like Mazda's M-Hybrid. The technology inside those big batteries and electric motors doesn't come cheap. This means a bigger initial hit to your wallet, which can be a major roadblock for everyday buyers, especially those on a budget or families looking for value. Yes, there are government incentives and tax credits, but those vary by region and can change with political wins, so they're not always reliable. Next, there's the notorious range anxiety, the fear that your battery will die mid-drive with no charging station in sight, while many modern EVs boast impressive ranges. In real life, range depends on lots of factors like weather, driving speed, and terrain. Plus, unlike gas stations that are everywhere and quick to use, EV charging infrastructure is still patchy in many places. Public chargers might be crowded, slow, or simply not where you need them. Charging takes significantly longer than filling up a tank. Even fast chargers need around 30 minutes or more, and standard outlets can take hours. That kind of downtime doesn't work for everyone, especially those with long commutes or busy schedules. Charging logistics also pose a big hurdle. Not everyone has a private driveway or garage, 
where they can install a home charger. Urban dwellers, apartment residents, and renters often have no easy way to charge overnight. Without reliable access to charging, owning an EV can become a hassle instead of a convenience. Then there's the environmental impact beyond just what comes out of the tailpipe. It's easy to forget that most EVs rely on electricity generated from fossil fuels like coal or natural gas in many parts of the world. So while the car itself produces no exhaust emissions, the power it uses often does. That means EVs might be cleaner but aren't entirely green depending on your local power grid's energy mix. Battery production adds another environmental wrinkle. Mining for lithium, cobalt, nickel and other essential minerals is energy intensive and can cause serious environmental damage. There are concerns about water pollution, habitat destruction and human rights issues tied to some mining operations. Manufacturing EV batteries is also carbon heavy, adding a big chunk of emissions before the car even hits the road. Once EV batteries reach the end of their life, disposal and recycling remain complicated and costly. While the industry is improving, current recycling rates are low, meaning many batteries could end up as hazardous waste. This creates long-term sustainability questions that aren't solved yet. From a practical standpoint, EV maintenance can also be tricky. While EVs typically require less regular servicing when something goes wrong with the battery or electric drivetrain, repairs can be expensive and require specialized technicians. Battery replacements alone can cost thousands of dollars. All that said, EVs are a critical part of the future transportation mix. Their benefits, especially in places with clean electricity grids, are undeniable. But the reality is, full electrification isn't a silver bullet that fits every driver's needs today. There are still real-world challenges that limit accessibility, affordability, and environmental benefits in many cases. This is exactly where Mazda's mild hybrid technology shines. It offers a practical, affordable way to reduce emissions and improve fuel efficiency right now. No charging hassles, no range worries, and fewer environmental downsides. In other words, it's a smart, realistic solution for the here and now, rather than waiting for a perfect electric future that might still be a few years off for many drivers. So the question isn't whether EVs will play a role, they absolutely will. But can mild hybrids like Mazda's steal some of the spotlight by solving today's problems more simply and cheaply? It's looking like a very real possibility. Consumer Psychology Let's face it, buying a car is not just about specs or green credentials. It's a mix of emotions, habits, budgets, and plain old convenience. When it comes to electric vehicles, many drivers have started feeling what you could call EV fatigue. The initial excitement around EVs was huge, but as people get closer to actually making the switch, some real-world concerns are starting to slow things down. First up, there's range anxiety, that nagging worry about running out of battery far from a charger. Even though many newer EVs boast longer ranges, the idea of planning your day around charging stops or hoping you find a free charger can be stressful. For drivers used to the simplicity of pulling into any gas station and filling up in minutes, charging an EV can feel like a step backward. Then there's the charging infrastructure problem. It's a chicken and egg issue. People won't buy EVs without enough chargers, and companies hesitate to build chargers without enough EVs on the road. For folks living in apartments or cities without dedicated parking spots, charging overnight is a major hassle and sometimes impossible. That's a real barrier many buyers face that simply doesn't exist with mild hybrids. Of course, the upfront cost also plays a big role. EVs typically carry a higher sticker price than comparable gasoline or mild hybrid models, even after government incentives. For budget-conscious buyers or families, that price jump can be a deal-breaker. Mazda's M-Hybrid, with its simpler tech, offers a way to save on fuel and emissions without paying the EV premium. Beyond logistics and cost, many drivers want a car that feels familiar and fun. Mazda's philosophy has always emphasized driving enjoyment, and the M-Hybrid system keeps that alive by avoiding heavy batteries that can dull handling. For many buyers, driving experience still matters, and mild hybrids hit that sweet spot between efficiency and fun. Interestingly, this is not just a small niche. Studies and surveys show a sizable group of consumers actively looking for practical, 
incremental green choices rather than diving straight into full EV ownership. These buyers want real benefits today, better fuel economy, lower emissions, less maintenance hassle, without upheaving their entire lifestyle. So what we're seeing is a real market dynamic. While the big headlines push full electrification as the future, many buyers are quietly choosing a middle path. They want something easy to live with, affordable, and genuinely effective at reducing emissions. Mazda's mild hybrid tech fits perfectly here. Could this growing group of rational buyers explain why Mazda's quiet hybrid tech might actually steal some of the thunder from full EVs? It sure looks that way. While the world races toward full electric, a smarter, simpler solution is winning hearts, one everyday driver at a time. Looking beyond the tailpipe. When it comes to green cars, the conversation usually zooms in on tailpipe emissions, which makes sense. EVs produce zero exhaust while driving, so they get a lot of applause for that. But here's the kicker. Tailpipe emissions are only part of the story. If we want to really understand how green a car is, we need to look at the full life cycle, from mining the raw materials, manufacturing the vehicle, how it runs, and eventually what happens to it at the end of its life. Electric vehicles, especially those with big batteries, have a pretty hefty environmental footprint before they even hit the road. Battery production involves mining lithium, cobalt, nickel, and other rare materials, which can lead to serious environmental damage. Think water pollution, habitat loss, and high energy use. Plus, some mining takes place in places with questionable labor practices, which adds a social cost. Manufacturing EVs uses more energy overall compared to making a regular gasoline car. This carbon debt has to be paid off through cleaner driving miles, which can take years depending on how the electricity powering the car is generated. That brings us to electricity sources. Not all grids are created equal. In regions where electricity is still mostly generated from coal or natural gas, charging an EV indirectly causes greenhouse gas emissions. That means the zero emissions label only tells part of the story. On the flip side, Mazda's mild hybrid tech uses a much smaller battery and doesn't rely on plugging in. The smaller battery means less mining, less energy in production, and less waste to deal with later. By improving the efficiency of a gasoline engine with this clever assist system, Mazda cuts emissions without the heavy environmental costs of large batteries. Disposal and recycling are also big factors. EV batteries eventually degrade and need replacing, and recycling those large packs is complex and costly. Mild hybrids use smaller, simpler batteries that are easier to recycle or replace, which is a win for sustainability. Mazda's mild hybrid offers a practical, lower-impact alternative to full EVs, especially while the world is still working on cleaner energy grids and better battery recycling methods. It's a reminder that sometimes the greener choice is not just about what comes out of the tailpipe, but the whole journey from mine to road to recycling. Cost and accessibility. Who really benefits? When it comes to choosing a greener car, price and ease of use matter a lot. Electric vehicles have grabbed headlines, but for many people, the high upfront cost is a major barrier. Even with tax credits or incentives, EVs often come with a bigger sticker shock compared to traditional or mild hybrid cars. Mazda's M-Hybrid offers a more wallet-friendly option. Because it uses smaller batteries and simpler tech, it costs less to produce, and that savings usually gets passed on to the buyer. This makes the mild hybrid a practical choice for budget-conscious drivers who want better fuel efficiency and lower emissions without emptying their bank accounts. Then there's the accessibility angle. Not everyone has the luxury of a private garage or a home charging station. Apartment dwellers, city residents, and people in rural areas might struggle to find convenient charging spots. This limits the appeal of full EVs for a big chunk of the population. Mild hybrids don't need plugging in so they fit right into any lifestyle. You drive them like a normal car and get the fuel savings and emission cuts without worrying about finding a charger. That simplicity opens the door to more people who want to be greener, but can't, or don't want to, deal with the hassles of EV ownership. On top of that, mild hybrids often require less maintenance and don't suffer from range issues. 
making them reliable for everyday use. Plus, with smaller batteries, repair and replacement costs tend to be lower compared to full EVs. Put simply, Mazda's M-Hybrid technology democratizes eco-friendly driving. It brings green benefits to a wider audience, people who want to save money, reduce emissions, and keep things easy. This is a big deal, because if sustainability is going to catch on, it needs to be accessible and practical for the majority, not just early adopters or tech enthusiasts. So who really benefits from Mazda's approach? Pretty much everyone who wants to cut their carbon footprint without changing their life drastically or spending a fortune. Fun without compromise. Mazda has always been about driving enjoyment, and the M-Hybrid keeps that spirit alive without compromise. Unlike some hybrids or EVs that feel heavy or sluggish, Mazda's system is designed to add efficiency without killing the fun behind the wheel. Because the M-Hybrid uses a small battery and a lightweight integrated starter generator, the cars don't carry the extra bulk that full hybrids or EVs often have. That means sharper handling, better balance, and the lively feel Mazda fans expect. You get improved fuel economy without giving up the driving dynamics that make their cars so popular. The ISG's boost helps smooth out acceleration, giving the engine a little extra push right when you need it. It also makes stop-start moments seamless. No jerks, no delays. This makes city driving more pleasant and less stressful, especially in traffic jams or stop-and-go conditions. Plus, the system is whisper-quiet, so it works behind the scenes without interrupting the natural sound and feel of the engine. For many drivers, this means enjoying the best of both worlds. Efficient driving with the familiar Mazda driving character intact, Mazda's mild hybrid tech is also easier to maintain compared to full electric systems, which often require specialized repairs or expensive battery replacements. For drivers who want reliable, fun, and efficient, the M-Hybrid hits a sweet spot. In a world where many hybrids or EVs sacrifice fun for efficiency, Mazda's approach shows you can have both. It's a win for anyone who wants to reduce emissions without losing the joy of driving. So what's next for Mazda's M-Hybrid tech? Could it really shake up the auto world and slow down the EV takeover? The answer might surprise you. Could Mazda's M-Hybrid change the market? As governments push harder for lower emissions and stricter regulations, car makers are scrambling to meet targets. Full electric vehicles get most of the attention, but Mazda's mild hybrid offers a clever shortcut. It can deliver meaningful emissions cuts right now, without waiting years for charging networks to expand or battery tech to improve. Since the M-Hybrid system is simpler and cheaper, Mazda can roll it out quickly across many models and markets. This means more drivers can upgrade to greener cars sooner, a big win for the environment and for consumers who want results without waiting for the future. Another big plus? Mazda's philosophy of keeping cars fun to drive, affordable and practical. That combination could attract buyers who aren't ready to fully commit to electric but want better efficiency and lower emissions. Plus, with battery supply chains facing challenges and raw materials remaining limited and expensive, mild hybrids offer a way to reduce reliance on big battery production for a while. It's like a smart stepping stone in the road to full electrification. Of course, EVs will still grow in importance, but Mazda's M-Hybrid proves that innovation doesn't have to be all or nothing. Sometimes, the best solution is the one that fits the present moment and real-world needs. In short, Mazda's battery-free hybrid tech might not kill EVs outright, but it could definitely slow their rise and offer a better, more practical alternative for millions of drivers today. Mazda's battery-free M-Hybrid technology offers a fresh, practical take on greener driving. It cuts emissions, boosts fuel efficiency, and keeps the joy of driving alive, all without the headaches of charging, range anxiety, or high costs that come with full electric vehicles. For everyday drivers who want to be eco-friendly without flipping their lifestyles upside down, this mild hybrid approach hits the sweet spot. While EVs will continue to grow and play a vital role in the future, Mazda's M-Hybrid proves there's room for smarter, simpler solutions today. It challenges the idea that going green has to mean going fully electric, 
offering a realistic, accessible and effective alternative that could change how millions drive and think about sustainability. Thanks for watching till the end. Subscribe for more content like this.